wasn't going to tell this story because it shows a side of me that is far from perfect. But after all the YouTube drama this week, it broke my heart to see so much condemnation. We are all broken in one way or another. So my hope is that by sharing this with you, you might see that like most humans, I have my moments and my flaws. And in this modern world, we could all use a little more grace and love in this life. So let us just do my love and see where this road I've been sitting here staring at the seahorse dresser procrastinating instead of getting in front of the camera because the story that goes with this dresser, you may or may not judge me, but I'm telling it anyway. I made a dresser and I put a giant seahorse on the front. People ask me all the time, where do you get your ideas from? Swimming pools and movie stars. Movie stars. What's happening up here? The wheels turn and it usually starts percolating and then it leads to this thing, which leads to that thing. And then I go down a few rabbit holes and I chase a few squirrels. This is a rambling sidetrack squirrel chasing story about how the seahorse dresser came out of my brain. Well, don't trust what you heard from the bubble dog. I've been busting out features on a double tree shuttle. DIY paint is very unique and versatile because it's clay based. The clay allows you to easily build texture or create a smooth watered down finish. You can water down DIY paint 10 to one because our paint has six times the pigmentation of your average paint. And it's just nine ingredients. Because this paint is so highly concentrated, it's a good idea to use a mister spray bottle full of water. I like to spritz the surface first and then spray in between as I move my brush across the surface. This helps get nice even coverage with a very minimal amount of paint. Oh no no, we don't lose. Oh no no, we get loose. My car broke down on a steep road yeah. Looking up as pops white meat though But the ox still in with the beat though yeah. So I stepped outside and had a free show Last summer, Dion Woods from the Turquoise Iris and Quita from All Shabbed Out, they flew to California and we taught a class at my shop. Usually when I teach classes, I have everybody bring a piece of furniture and we all paint together. Dion and Q, they don't do it that way. They stand on a stage, it's like a performance, and they paint the whole piece of furniture in a couple of hours. So I just invited them to my store, but then they started advertising the class saying all three of us were gonna teach. Oh, okay, I guess I could do it too. I can't paint a piece of furniture in two hours. I have to obsess over it. I have to tweak it. I have to second guess it. You know, Dion and Q, it's like a magic show. They get out all the colors and they start blending and they start spraying and they start scraping. And then it's like, uh, poof, here is this incredible work of art. I don't want to do it. I just want to be in the class. And I'll help the students. I'll give everybody bottles of water. No, they paid for the tickets thinking that you were going to paint. <laughs> Just watch me now, just watch me, just watch me now, just watch me. I made a seahorse Pinterest board so I would have a point of reference for this. Because I don't draw well, I use chalk so I could erase and adjust my sketch as needed. I'll link my Pinterest board in the description box. So amazing, got me shaking, pay attention if you know. If there weren't for this one thing, it would be totally fine to just get a halfway piece of furniture done. It's not that I was worried that they would look better than me. I already know that they're better than me. You buy a ticket to the class, you look under your seat, and if there's a little golden ticket, then you're the winner of the furniture. There were three winners because there was the three of us. They're all waiting for us to perform. Everybody loves Dion. She's just so hostess-like. And then there's Q, she's kind of larger than life. And then there's me, and I'm quiet, and I'm worried. When it comes for my turn to talk, just so you know, 
I am probably not gonna finish my piece of furniture, so whoever wins it, you're gonna have to be patient. And I was thinking it would be like three months, but I wanted to say it would be a year because I needed to give myself a cushion. The end of the class, everybody's happy. The poor lady who wins my piece of furniture is looking at me like, is it really gonna be a year? The dresser that I started was the dresser that I made in the last video. I had that picture from Anthropology a year ago. I'm excited about it, but the IOD molds are sold out and I need all the molds to finish the video. same molds and paper clay for the seahorse that I used in the last video. It's better to glue the molds down before they dry so they adhere well to your surface without curling up. This project took three packs of clay and several hours to make the molds, but I got a great tip from Mara Le Fay of Vintage Retail Therapy. She puts her molds in the freezer to use later so they won't dry out. I'll add a link to Mara's website below. It's never too late to set your soul straight. And if I feel the same. These amazing products are made by Iron Orchid Design. We sell the molds and the clay at my store in Solana Beach. We also teach classes. Check the link below for more details. I like to attach my molds by brushing wood glue onto the backs. You can also use white tacky glue for this, but I would not use hot glue. I order all the IOD stuff from my store. I get my whole box of goodies. I rip it open and I'm gonna finish that dresser. But there is no molds in the box. All the molds that I ordered were on back order. So I put a tarp over the dresser and it's in the backyard of my store. And then I go to boot camp and Sally and Josie are there. I get them kind of backed into a corner. I need to know, when are the molds coming? They're telling me that the molds are gonna take a while. The molds would not be available for like another six months. Great, I know they're not coming, so I just move on, I make other videos. And then finally, they're shipped. I'm stoked. I go out into the backyard, I lift up the tarp, and there was a hole in the tarp, so the dresser had been rained on, and the top of the dresser was completely warped. It was bowed like a rainbow, and I had to send it to the dump, and I had to look for another dresser. The molds dry slowly in about 24 hours. This gives you time to move them around and change your mind. It's sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. There's no right or wrong. I cut several down, and used a knife to cut them where the drawers line up. I could have laid the dresser flat, but I wanted to get a good perspective, so I kept it upright and held the molds in place with painter's tape. And I finished the dresser. This is the best piece of furniture that I have ever done. And the crazy thing about it was it just flowed. I have this vision in my head and then the vision doesn't want to come out. But with this dresser, it looked even better than I thought it would look. And that never happens. And everyone who came to my house and saw it in real life told me the video isn't as good as what it really is. I loved it. And then I remembered that I had to give it to the lady in Wyoming and I did not want to give it to her. I was selfish about it. Great, this is the one piece of furniture that I love more than anything, and I have to give it away, and it's not fair. And I thought of the verse in the Bible that says, God loves a cheerful giver. I'm not a cheerful giver. I'm not a cheerful giver at all. I wanna keep this thing. I don't even wanna sell it. Even if I could get the price that Anthropology was selling their dresser for, I don't think I would've sold it. Okay, well, maybe I can get out of it. I'll be lying if I 
I watered my paint down about 50% so I could get into all the nooks and crannies. You can see here that DIY paint dries very fast and just about covers in one coat. I used the color Weathered Wood because I wanted a driftwood finish. It goes on dark and dries to a warm, saturated gray. The deal was, whoever won the piece of furniture, the person had to agree to pay for the shipping. So I call up Dion. How do I ship this piece of furniture to Wyoming? And Dion has a guy, his name is James, and he goes all across the country, picking up furniture for all the people in our artist circle. Ask James how much it would cost, and be sure you show him a picture of it, because this piece needs special white glove care. Inside, I was hoping that it would cost so much money that the girl in Wyoming would be like, oh, forget it, I can't do it. Dion gets back to me, and she tells me that it's gonna be $400. Okay, that's a lot of money. So I email her, and I tell her that I totally understand that that's a crazy high price to pay. I will send you some paint instead of the dresser so that you don't have to pay the shipping and you can get $200 worth of paint. Oh no, I want the dresser. <sighs> Great, there it goes, it's gone, it's out of here. If I don't send it to her, then I'm gonna look really, really bad. It's not this lady's fault, she won the dresser, she should have the dresser. I sat on my couch, if you're that sad about it, then maybe you should make another one. To get dark paint into the tiny areas, I use the new detail brushes from the Turquoise Iris. I'll put a link to Dion's brushes below. Okay, Debbie, think. What's the lesson? How can you be a better person about this? Maybe you can make something else that's even better and you can make it different enough that people will still want to watch the video and it, it, it will be a blessing in disguise. Yes, that seems like a good plan and I will have taken it to the next level. What can I do with those molds? I was thinking that I was gonna make a giant mermaid tail then I thought about a sand dollar. I decided that I was gonna make it into a big starfish. Nope. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, what about a seahorse? I love seahorses. I've always loved seahorses. So I'm looking at this seahorse and I'm thinking, you could make it really big and then you could fill it in with the molds. And I'm looking at this seahorse and I, ha I, I create a whole Pinterest board of seahorses. And then there was this voice in my head. That could turn out really bad. You don't know how to draw. How are you gonna do it? Are you gonna get an overhead projector? Are you gonna take a seahorse image and send it to Staples and have them blow it up to the size of the dresser and then cut it out? No, I don't wanna do that. That sounds like a lot of work. I could do it, I could do it. I could draw it in chalk and I'll just keep erasing it and drawing it until I get it right. I draw stick people. This thing could take three weeks to do and if it turns out bad, then you have wasted three weeks and you won't have a video. Look, Debbie, if you make this seahorse and it turns out bad, you still have to make the video. You have to show people that sometimes things don't work out. You're gonna use it for your channel as a learning experience. You're gonna put yourself out there. You're gonna be vulnerable. I said, okay, I'm gonna do it. the details to pop against the dark gray so I used our synthetic wax brush and a heavy coat of white wax to get into all the low spots of the molds. Then I wiped back the excess however all the white wax was too much and created a blotchy uneven finish. I'm telling you I just can't live without you. I need you right now. White wax over dark gray can look like driftwood, which was what I was hoping for, but in this case, I just put too much on. A whole day of making molds and gluing them on. This was like a, a little war going on in my head. You've never even done a canvas art. Everybody in my whole retailers group, they're all painting canvases and Dion's sketching naked ladies. And I don't know how to do that. But yet, I'm making this giant seahorse. Who do you think you are? And I just kept telling that side of my brain to 
be quiet. I smeared a whole bunch of white wax all over the seahorse. It kind of went off the edges, so then I had to put white wax over the whole dresser. It's kind of a hot mess. It looked like smeared patches. And then I had to stop because Jamie Ray was coming to visit me. And Jamie has her own YouTube channel. All of Jamie's furniture is very refined. Nothing is is too whimsical with her. Here she comes. She's gonna look at my piece of furniture and she's gonna see, oh, Debbie made a piece of furniture that isn't that good. So she shows up and she's like, I like it. And I could tell that she sort of liked it, but she didn't really love it because it still needed work. Jamie was here for four days. It's been in progress now since the last video, which was over a month ago. I stare at it every day. I analyze it. I pick it apart. Gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down. Gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down. After Jamie left, I went back with clear wax, using it like an eraser. This toned down the white and created the weathered look that I wanted as well as contrast between the seahorse and the rest of the dresser. I got the clear wax out, I started erasing a lot of the white wax, I started distressing it, and it started looking good. This is it. This is the seahorse. This is, this is pretty much what I had in my brain. Almost as good, not quite as good as what I was hoping for, but 80% good. Maybe you have been looking at this dresser for so long that you just talked yourself into the fact that it's good because you are invested in it now. No, it's good. It's cool. It's really good. What if it's just strange? Okay, I'm gonna post a teaser picture to my Facebook page and I'm gonna see what the response is. So I take a picture of half the dresser. You can't see the whole seahorse, but you can basically figure out that it's a seahorse. So I post it. I'm hitting the refresh button. I'm waiting for a comment to come in. And then I get a comment. And the comment is one word, and it's the word wow. Now wow can mean wow, or it can mean wow. And then Sally and Josie see it from Iron Orchid Designs. I'm like, oh, oh no, they, 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 their, their taste is totally different than mine. They like the, the more refined, European, sophisticated looks. They leave the most wonderful comment. Okay, maybe it's good. It gets the most likes and the most shares that I've ever gotten on Facebook ever. Wow, people do like it. I just worked myself up into a creative mess. I believe creativity is like a muscle. As you push against the resistance and the fear, you get stronger. I want to encourage you to keep building your creative muscle. And if you're interested, I have a membership group here on YouTube all about unlocking creativity. It's just $5 a month. You can cancel at any time. The link is in the description box. People ask me how do you get your creative ideas sometimes it's born out of selfishness or whatever you want to call it and I feel like I need to apologize to that lady now I know that you probably have no idea that I didn't want to send it to you and now you know but the dresser is exactly where it should be thanks for watching and please don't judge me and I will see you in the next video Let me know in the comments if you've ever made something that's pushed you out of your comfort zone. To find DIY paint in your area, or to sell DIY paint in your store, or to visit my store in Solana Beach, click the link below.
Telling you I just can't live without you